fast forward. And yep, I'm here on Rasse. Um, I'm here at Arnish now. I made it all the way right along Callum's Road. You can see part of it behind me. Um, Callum's Road was a... Uh, well, let's catch up where we were before. Um, I didn't get run over by a truck. Um, my battery ran out. That's one of the, uh, the unfortunate conundrums of cycling with loads of tech kit is your battery will run out at inopportune moments. But anyway, I made it all the way up to Arnish where I'm staying for the night. You can see a little tent over there, all snug inside. And anyway, I'm, um, I'm out here, out in the wild world, admiring the beautiful view and getting eaten to death by midges. But there's a good reason I'm out here. I'm out here because Ta-da! It's the only place I can get a mobile signal. 2G on Vodafone for the win, yeah! Ah, fucking midges can go fuck themselves. Literally, look at my arm. Yeah, anyway, um, so, um, a quick few things before I get eaten to death. Um, well, Rasse is lovely, it's divine, you can see from the the views behind me, um, it's just kind of everything I hoped Sky would be, but hasn't been. Um, the people here have been wonderful. I, I met an old guy whilst I was um, at the previous village, and he he was like, are you stuck? I was like, no, no, I'm really not stuck. I'm just admiring the view. And he, um, we had a good chat, it turns out he's from Manchester, of all places. Um, and uh, he has a house here and he, he gave me his number in case that I somehow miraculously needed help um, which I thought was very sweet considering that um, I hadn't really asked for it and I wasn't really in need of any help at all um, so uh, what else has been going on well yes I've been pushing a lot of posts to Identica via Ping FM um, SMS, which is kind of good, but I do feel I've probably bothered a load of people. What else has, have I been up to? Um, I, on the ferry this morning, I briefly met the, the man that is, Paul, life at the end of the road. Um, his, he, he wrote the blog that basically led me to um, come check out Rusty, which is a good decision. Um, I met him on the ferry, it was very amusing really. On his blog he constantly takes photos, well constantly, from time to time takes photos of ships that he sees whilst operating the ferry. Um, and we were on the ferry this morning and some kind of ship drove past and suddenly I see this kind of engineer dressed in a high visibility dead vest running up to the uh, the bridge and then whipping out an SLR and taking photos and commenting on how much it, the ship must cost. And I was like, yeah, that's probably him. Uh, so I went and had a few words with him and then went a bit fanboy on him. It's like, oh my God, this is why I'm here. Uh, this is so totally awesome. And I might have um, scared him a little bit. Oh well. Anyway, for the record, he lives somewhere over there behind my tent. And um, if you can see the wind turbine, it's just over there. That's his. Anyway, um, I think my battery is about to go away now. But if you get a chance to, um, to if you get a chance to check out Callum's Road on Wikipedia, it's very interesting, um, and it's just awe-inspiring that one man built this entire rather technically difficult road in just ten years, all by himself, without any council help kind of a, a fascinating story so I really recommend you go check it out. Anyway I'll leave you with the view. Ah I'm being eaten to death!